this is Anthony with Maple Systems, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to add a CMT SVR or Gateway HMI to your Easy Access 2.0 or WingCloud domain. To begin, we'll need to connect our HMI or Gateway to the internet. To do this, I'll connect an Ethernet cable from LAN port 1 on our device to our router. Now that our device is connected to an access point, let's ensure that the network configuration is valid. By default, LAN port 1 on an SVR or gateway device is configured to obtain an IP address via DHCP. However, when using a CTRL01, LAN 2 is configured to obtain an IP address via DHCP, and LAN 1 is reserved for CODASYS. To view and modify the network configuration of our device, let's use our Utility Manager. To open the Utility Manager, we can either search for this application within our Start menu, or navigate to the Easy Builder Pro installation directory and double click the Utility Manager EX. Within our Utility Manager, we'll need to select the HMI model that we're using within our application by using the HMI drop-down list on the top left. When using a CMT SVR, please select the CMT RMI series. And if you're using a gateway device or a CTRL01, please select the CMT series dash gateway. Once we've selected the appropriate HMI model, we'll navigate to the Analysis and Testing tab and click Reboot. Next, ensure that the HMI Name tab is selected and click Search and Change IP. If this is the first time that you're using this application, you'll be prompted to download WinPCAP. If required, please do so. Once WinPCAP is installed, we can use this button to search for and modify the network configuration of our device. If you've already modified the HMI's IP, please reconfigure the HMI to receive an IP via DHCP. Now that we have confirmed that our HMI has an appropriate network configuration, I'll open my browser and enter the IP address of our device, which will allow us to access our CMT web server. If you're working with an SVR, G01, or G02 that was purchased after June 2021, then your device might run the latest web server, which we refer to as EasyWeb 2.0. If your web server does not appear as shown, then please wait or skip forward as I will perform this process on our original CMT web server later in this video. To log into our web server, I'll enter the default password, which is 111111 or six consecutive ones. However, if you have reconfigured this password, be sure to enter the appropriate credentials now. Once logged in, I'll expand the features tab and click easy access 2.0. If you do not see this tab shown on the left side, please select the orange arrow on the top left corner. If you're using a SVR 102 or 202, which is pre-licensed with Easy Access 2.0, simply select the Start button to display a session ID and password. Although, if this is the first time that you're using Easy Access on this device, you may receive an error that states that Easy Access is not activated. If this occurs, please select the Stop button wait until Easy Access 2.0 is no longer running, and then select the Start button once more and the HMI should display a session ID and password. If the SVR or gateway that you are using is not pre-licensed with Easy Access 2.0, you'll need to use the hardware key and an Easy Access 2.0 activation code. And just like our pre-licensed HMI, the hardware key can be found within the Easy Access 2.0 tab. Now, Earlier I mentioned that depending on your device, you may encounter a different web server. If your web server appears as shown, please log in using the default password 111111, or if you have reconfigured this password, be sure to enter the appropriate credentials now. Once logged in, I'll select the Easy Access 2.0 tab, where we can find the hardware key or if our HMI is pre-licensed with Easy Access 2.0, we can use the Start button to display the session ID or password. However, if this is the first time that you are using Easy Access on this device, you may receive an error that states that Easy Access is not activated. If this occurs, please select the Stop button, wait until Easy Access 2.0 is no longer running, and then select the Start button once more, and the HMI should display a session ID and password. 
Now that we have the information that we need to add this HMI to our domain, I'll open my browser and navigate to wingcloud.net. WingCloud is our new cloud service and is comprised of Easy Access 2.0 and WingCloud dashboard. If you already have an Easy Access 2.0 domain, you can use your admin credentials to log into WingCloud. If you do not have a domain, you can register a new domain using the register button. Once logged in, I'll select the management button in the bottom left corner. And on the following page, I'll select device management and click add HMI in the top right corner. At the top, we can set the action type to add by session ID slash password for HMIs that are pre-licensed or using activation card for HMIs that are not pre-licensed with Easy Access 2.0. Once you've entered the appropriate information, you can add this HMI to your domain by clicking submit in the bottom right corner. If you found this tutorial helpful and would like to see more, head on over to our channel to check out our latest technical tutorials. Feel free to check out our website as well for free demo projects, user manuals, and more. Thank you for watching.